I have to uh, make little adjustments here and there. Just ignore so the swings are something that I make. They're really special. The first thing that you want to get used to is the stretch. So these are made locally in San Francisco, and this is really yummy, high quality, comfortable cotton microbe blend, and it expands. Everybody follow along and do it on your own. So it's something to get used to. A lot of people that have done other yoga practices or aerial yoga practices or aerial. Um, it's just the one thing that I like to point out is that the stretch will change the way that we're going to um, experience the poses. So I do a lot of yoga translations, but then they'll feel completely different. The idea is that you're supported in, to go deeper into back bends and inversions and access poses that might not be comfortable otherwise with the swing. And then, of course, do lots and lots of play things. So the leg loops, we're gonna make, <laughs> we've been doing lots of flips. Make sure it's not twisted up. So we have two leg loops and two hand holds on each side. Here we go. Unfurl. So the carabiners are climbing carabiners, super strong. Everything is quadruple reinforced and weighted for 500 pounds. We don't do anything crazy. There's no big vertical drop, so it's plenty strong. But it's just good to know. And then the ropes are just extended from the ceiling, which you can do with any kind of climbing rope um, and handy swing rope. So I do highly recommend um, getting a swing and bringing it home and having it be your new best friend. But no pressure, no rush. You just eventually fall in love. Okay, so we're gonna put the swings behind the back. First thing we're gonna do is get comfortable with the positioning. If it's touching the armpits, it tends to feel uncomfortable. So what we wanna do is use our forearms to press it down so it's nice and low. So if it's at the bottom of the ribs, when we sit back, you can just lean back into it. It's gonna slide up behind the heart and then we can use the forearms to kind of lock it into position. If it slides up, it's no big deal. See if you can walk your feet forward to the front of the mat. So I'm gonna come forward, and then feet are gonna be wide like a sumo squat, right? So if we're looking at our round mats that are informing the movements, um, if it's a clock and 12 o'clock's in front, we're gonna be at 10 and two, okay? So not at nine and three, but 10 and two. So it just, it allows the hips to drop in. So most people are pushing their pelvis forward. See if you can sink your feet from back, back and down. It's totally different than a position we're used to um, utilizing with the hips. So we want the spine to traction out of the pelvis. That looks good. Okay, now see if you can just gently rock from side to side, get a little bit more space for the pelvis to release. So all that fascia, all the stickiness, and the tightness, the sheath over the surface of the muscles, that tends to get really tight. You could just put your hand up for a second and center yourself up. Your bum should be in the center of the mat. Your feet are walking forward. That looks great, everybody. So just take a moment to play. So I call it aerial yoga play because we're going to do poses in the air. Uh, I like to use yoga to inform the movements. And play because I want to give you lots of time to explore and experience the body in so the idea is we have maximum fun. We're going to play safely, and we'll get our accidental workout. We'll definitely get fit during this, but really the most important thing is that we open. All right, so just think, how much space can you create in the body with the swing? Open, align, release. We use the swing to support us so that we can relax. So engage, but relax. So right now, the upper body's engaged. We're lifting the sternum but the hips are completely relaxed. Can you relax the hips even more? Just drop them down. So can the upper body stay engaged and the lower body relax and those two parts act individually? Okay, if the swing does ride up and it feels uncomfortable, we're gonna press our legs straight. We'll just keep them exactly where they are. Press your forearms into the swing to push into a back bend, then open your arms wide, shake it out, jazz hands. Now support the neck, so clasp your fingers, interlace the fingers behind the head, and just gently rock from side to side. So side body stretch on a diagonal, heart lifted towards the sky, head sinking back into the feet. Okay? Beautiful, guys. So give yourself a few moments to just explore and experience something new. So if we're used to doing side body stretches, we're probably not used to doing them on this crazy recline, right? this extreme diagonal. So just notice how that changes things in the psoas, how the belly is more involved, and how that we can really arch from the upper thoracics with the swing supporting us behind the back. Ready? Okay, guys. Okay, 
Okay, inhale, open up the arms wide, bend the knees. For a press, we're gonna start out nice and slow. We wanna learn the hooks and the anchors and how to use the swing, and then from there we can get a little crazy today. Not too crazy. Okay, so sway it out from side to side. Let that feel really good. Maybe open up your feet to three and nine o'clock now. Your toes are going to come off the edges, and then you can come into semicircles, come into a little bit of a bigger lunge side to side. So let's try and sync up since we have lots of kitties today. Let's all bend the left knee and pulse. So you're pushing hips forward and towards me. Okay. So Andrew, square your hips towards me a little bit more. Yeah, that's totally, I call it making a wish when the, when the legs are moving away from one another. So wishing the hips are open. Make a wish. And then press straight back. Go ahead and bend the right knee. Pulse. Don't worry about the leg loops. They might bop. If they're bothering you, you can always just hook them. We're going to use them in a little bit. But that's one way of just getting them out of the way. Okay? So remember, sternum is lifting towards the sky. The bottom of the navel is dropping down towards the earth, like a little plumb line. Beautiful. You guys feel that? La la. Hello, hips. Totally different than, totally different than our normal warrior two. We're not going to pop up into a warrior two today. We're just going to allow ourselves the pulse. So if you thread your arms through there, then you can just keep them from getting in your way. To get them okay in position. So forearm press, forearm press into the swing. Bring your arms back behind you. Yeah, there it is. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and add a twist. So straight back, bend the left knee, twist. So when you twist, just push. Make sure your knee is happy. Push that right hip forward. Oh, yeah. Totally different. Hello, so as. Yeah, feel free to take pictures if that's okay with everybody for those that are just. Out. Beautiful. Come on back. Bring your feet with you. Right. So first, we're going to turn the right toes out, twist, and then turn the left toes in. Ooh la la. Amazing. So sink your hips back down a little bit. Yes, there it is. Nice. Go ahead and press straight back. One more time since that was incredible. Turn the left toes out, pulse into the lunge, and then twist. Drop into it. Let the swing hold you. Lift the heart towards the sky. Beautiful. Nice, guys. Come on straight back. Turn the right toes out. Pulse forward. And then twist. There you go. Nice. Totally different. Make sure the knee is happy. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and release the leg loops that are attached to your arm. Tiltoe your feet together. Straight legs, wiggle them to the front of the mat, interlace the fingers behind the head, weaving the load from side to side. So now, as long as you're playing nicely with your neighbors and the pillars and the walls, see if you can get into a bigger swagger from side to side. Beautiful. And we'll just naturally sync up with one another. If you can do it, we can do it. Uh -huh. Start to synchronize. Let that feel good to be supported to go deeper into the back bend. So Cody, will you invite Catherine to come and take that swing? Thank you so much. Sometimes when people come in and they see the swings totally taken, they're like, oh, and they leave. But you know that we can come in. Okay, great. A little bit bigger now. See if you can come all the way over to the side. And we'll Watch out for all the accoutrements, but yeah, I'm <laughs> like banging into something. But a little bit bigger. Nice. All right, and as long as, again, we can play safely with our neighbors and our friends, we're going to hold on to the swing, and we're going to try to come all the way around. Woo, full circle. Let's see if you can do it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so keep, keep tension on the swing the whole time. There you go. <laughs> and then try and stop. See if we can go the other way. <laughs> Staring the pots. <laughs> like I said, we're going to have a little bit more play time today. <laughs> All right, slow it down. Good job, guys. So that's our around the world. Always a crowd favorite. Welcome back in.
So let's keep our feet together. Inhale, open your arms wide. Exhale, forearm press. Lift the left knee up. Shoot it back. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for making it. What? Yeah. What a nice surprise. So wiggle your front toes forward. Okay. Use the shape of the mat to to inform the movement. So back knee can slide back a little bit more. There you go. There you go. There you go. Toes touching the front of the mat. Perfect. So they're four foot mats, so we can slide off the back too, which is fine. Now we dropped our chest. See if you can use your forearms, nice and strong. Press, press, press. Lift the left knee. Might actually come up, and you can look back to the oh. heel. Big stretch through the quad. And then exhale, relax back down into it. If you're in the mood for mudras, go ahead and make a diamond mudra with your hands. Beautiful. All right, inhale, press, 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 and lift. Stretch the heart towards the sky head, leaning back towards the heel. Exhale, come on back down. Oh. So good. All right, let's go ahead and straighten both legs. Okay, bring the left leg forward. Wiggle it out nice and slow, just reset the hips. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Okay, first push the hips towards the sky, come into a little back bend to get the swing to slide down. Once it feels like it's in a good position, come to neutral. Nice, Catherine. Lift the right knee up, shoot it back. Wiggle your toes forward, wiggle your knee back, get some space. So forward lunge, right? Seems like a normal yoga pose. Then when we use our forearms to press, we're rolling like our heart is moving up over a bar. There it is. And then you can stretch the quads, stretch the belly, head sinks back towards your heel. Exhale, coming back down and rest. That is a big back bend. Beautiful, Tamara. If anybody needs support, you can clasp your hands behind your head. That way you're pulling straight out, right? So you're not collapsing in the neck. And then if you want, go ahead and straighten the front leg. So maybe your head comes closer to your heel, but not because you're crunching your neck. You're pulling straight out and back. Even a bigger quad stretch. So that's a more advanced pose. You can straighten your arms up over your head if you want to go deeper. Okay, inhale, open up wide wherever you are. Hold on to the swing. Exhale, come down. Woo! Both legs straight. Just wiggle it from side to side a little bit. Not too big. Just hang out here. So we're going to do a twist. Right? So try twisting with the feet together. Okay? Just shifting your hips from side to side. We're going to look forward towards me for this one. Yes. More playtime, more rotation. Since it's the last day, we're all feeling very zany. <laughs> all, right. all right, we're going to come to center, neutralize the spine. Left knee lifts, roll into the outer edge of the right. <laughs> Don't do that. Straighten, straighten the right leg. Step up as high as you can. And then you're going to look back over your left shoulder. Yes, so your knee goes to the right, your gaze goes to the left, and then drop straight down. Now when you drop straight down, that's when you open up the obliques, right? The whole side body. Drop even more if you can. Yes. Inhale, lift, just pulse. Exhale, come on back into it. So your hip is going to line up with your ankle. Twist a little bit more. Yeah, there it is. And then drop straight down. Beautiful. That part of the body that never gets this much attention. It's amazing. Inhale, lift. Bring your foot back up to center. Straighten it out. Wiggle a little bit in the space. <sighs> Drop the hips, neutralize the spine. Inhale, press the hips back up, second side. Right knee lifts. Roll onto the outer edge of the, of the left. So keep that leg straight. Step so that you have a right angle. You have a right angle from your knee to your hip and then your knee to your foot. Beautiful. Then you can drop straight down, twist and look over the right shoulder. Come back for good. Inhale, pulse back up. Come out of it. Stay straight. Exhale, sink back down. Can you relax into the stretch? It's very deep. Nice pressure. How does that feel? Not yet, because we're like concerned about the what mm -hmm. we're stretching for us, right? So this is always an option. So it's not just clasping your hands, but you can actually pull straight up and out. There you go. So that is an option so the head can be relaxed, even though the hips are opening. Because they're all connected. When we have tightness in our hips, lift that leg up, come into a supported back bend, just wash it out. When our hips are tight, our neck tends to stay tense, right? Mm -hmm. Keep low. Clasp your hands, support your head, sway from side to side. Now see if you can not only support the head, but pull gently up and out on a diagonal. So just a millimeter of space in the circles, 
find a pretty huge difference for that tension that lives there. Heart is pointing up towards the sky. All right, come on back to center. We're going to allow ourselves to just come up for a second. So just come on up. Come all the way forward. Come into angel wings. Press your hips forward. Okay, so pulse forward and back a little bit. Push your hips forward. I call it hover with honey. Exhale, come back. We're going to take a little break from the underarms. Head and pulse forward. Thumbs up the whole time for cool Jesus. There you go. Exhale back. <laughs> And then just walk it back into a wide straddle. We're not going to do much in the wide straddle because there's some other things that we're going to do with you guys today. Okay, shake it out, shake it out, shake, shake, shake. Shake out your hair, shake out your thoughts. Uh -huh. Feet are wide, so again, use the shape of the mat to inform movement. And then just play with swaying from side to side. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to take a break. If you ever feel like you need to come down, that's 100% okay. We're going to use our leg weights and do some restorative stretches on the floor. Inhale, use your arms to come up. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Our exhale, we're going to take our arms to the ceiling. First form of left. Really good. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to use our leg loops by themselves. Okay, so if you slide down through the center, you're going to find the bottom. Pass them in your hands. Okay, just make your way to a child's pose. See if you can walk yourself back and down. Stay on the mat. Right? Stay on the mat. The knees can be stuck. So bring your arms wide and around. So dive in. If, you're, if your hands are okay, keep holding on. It's a nice, gentle shoulder stretch. This is a great way to ground down if anybody starts to feel woozy or nauseous from all of the swimming. And just come down and ground. So we're going to inhale, look forward, lift our chest. We're going to swim the arms up and overhead. When we get here, exhale, drop. Drop the heart. Start to shoulders. Bend the elbows if you need to, okay? Inhale, lift. Exhale, swim and run. Inhale, lift. Swim all the way up. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, swim. we can start having some fun with it. We're going to inhale, lift, swim all the way up to center, and then use your bicep curl to come up. You might need to negotiate with your swing, so maybe come forward or back, wherever it is, just make sure you can see. So we're going to stay in a nice tight bicep curl, okay? So head back into a camel pose, right? Push your hips towards me, and lift towards the sky to come back, okay? If you're comfortable, go ahead and sit down into it. Sit down into Sutra Varasana, where your head touches the ground. Bicep curl, come on back up, come on. Oh, there you go, nice. Exhale, come on down. Catherine, is the set okay? Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Exhale down. You can switch to the back if you need to. Inhale up. Nice, exhale. Bicep curl the whole time if you can. Use your arms. Inhale up. All right, come on back around. Dive in, stretch the back. Nice way to do some supported arch camel poses. I really like coming with the Sutra Varasana like that. Sutra Varasana can be very challenging. So you still feel like you can lift yourself out of it if the lower back is getting punched. Okay, we're going to slide into our elbow creases. Okay? So when we slide into our elbow creases, we're going to engage. <laughs> yeah, engage more. There you go. Rah! <laughs> Push your hips forward. Stretch the pecs. Oh, Ooh, la, la. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? Mm. All right. Pull yourself up. Sink back into a child's pose. Don't go too far. I know it's intense. Mm. All right. Inhale. Push forward. Exhale. Relax into it. Oh. Engage. Engage. Yes. Nice. And then press back. Good. Okay, we're going to slide into your wrist wrap. Watch me for the first one, okay? <laughs> this is called clearance. We're going to see if we can come into a plow pose. So we're going to have, does everybody know rabbit in yoga? So tuck your toes under, bring the crown of the head to the ground, and then push your hips towards the sky. This might be as far as you go for today. Just stay in rabbit, 
unless you're feeling zany. If you want to try to do a flip, this is our first acrobatic, but we're really close to the ground. So you're going to tuck your chin into your chest, really important. Straighten your legs so you're on your upper back. Then you gently roll over. Yeah, hit the straps for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice Vajra. So not your head. Yes, there it is. Nice. Really fun. <laughs> I know the bun's in the way. So fun. All right, we're going to try it one more time. So roll yourself around. <laughs> we can flip back over too. Let's just try this one part. Really nice fish. I know. See if you can do it nice and slow and with control. Okay, so tuck in. Toes under. So first of all, you just lift your hips. So your crown of the head is pointing towards the floor, but keep tucking your chin into your chest. Straighten your legs so you can roll into your back. From there with straight legs, go ahead and roll over. Oh. So good. I know. So <laughs> when you, you knew you'd love it. So once you get the core engagement, you can float. You know, then you can, you know, also, can you hold that? Just do like four? Yeah, so of course. Uh, we'll do all kinds of fun things, but you can also try reversing. So we're going to try floating the other way. Okay, shift your hips forward. I told you today was playtime. <laughs> we'll do some therapeutics too. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So shift your forward, bring your legs up over your head, and see if you can roll into your back. Roll into your back. So right behind the heart. Okay? Oh. And go ahead and roll forward. And roll back. So tuck. Yeah. Nice. That's what we're doing next. Nice. <laughs> we're getting there, I promise. Go okay. forward and back. <laughs> so if you keep your legs straight, you can try and reach your core. <laughs> Just play with it for a few rounds. It's really fun. And then when you feel ready, you can roll all the way over, which means you come onto your knees and then you're going to wind up in a big part of dinner. Okay, so just try it. We'll come around and help you. So my, my assistants, you're just going to see if anybody needs any help. Um, so Catherine, can I use you as an example? Yeah. Okay, great. So if somebody... This is great for those that are uh, assisting. If somebody needs help, come here. My knees are going to be on their upper back. She's going to roll forward, and then she's going to land on me. So with that little bit of assistance will <coughs> help them feel comfortable doing the task. And then when she's there, she has to roll into your knees so your head has some room. Okay? Really good. So if somebody has a little bit of fear, is anybody having trouble rolling over? Anybody good? Okay, which way you're having trouble with? Just go back. Okay, so when you go back, just lean into it. I'm going to help you a little bit. Lean into it, roll all the way back. Use your hips to pull it a lot. That'll make it a little bit easier. So you're going to yep, bite your hip and down. So roll it. Oops. <laughs> Thanks for trying it. Hips forward. Slide into your hands instead of the wrist straps. You're going to bring your hips up over your head, so don't keep sliding. Yes, there it is. Good. And then bring down to your knees. There you go. So if you're a little bit too high, it feels like, so Sam, let's just do one person at a time so we can ask them to help you. So if you're too high, then you won't be able to land it. It's really tight. Okay, do you need help? You good? Good. Well, let's see. <laughs>
having training wheels for us to play. That's perfect. So that's where I'm comfortable flipping just not I can't do it. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna do this in the area. Yeah. This is where we're going. You guys are doing great. Everybody feel comfortable doing that? So that's our little playtime on the floor. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with being in the air. Okay? And so we're gonna kind of be like all over the place today. So we're gonna bring it up, bring it down, we'll have a nice long shavasana. But let's go ahead and discover our hand holds. Okay, so the hand holds are really great for standing poses. So some people feel uncomfortable doing flips in the air, so we can do them on the ground. Some people don't feel comfortable doing them on the ground, so we can do them in the air. Lots of options. The first thing we want to do is learn how to get, get our foot in the swing. So we want to kick the swing forward. So just try that. Kick the swing forward with your momentum. Stand at the back of the mat. And once you learn how to kick the swing forward, we're going to get our foot up there. So try to get your right foot up there. <laughs> there you go. Yes. If we use momentum, it's actually much easier. Otherwise, one way or another, get your foot up there. Okay, great. Use the hand holds to lean back and stretch. So round in, so you're bowing towards that straight leg. Stretch your back. This just in itself feels good. Maybe play a little bit from side to side. Mm -hmm. Just notice how you have a lot more mobility for the hip there. And then we're going to press forward. There you go. <laughs> So do a bicep curl and pull forward, not too far, but you're on the ball of the foot. Yes, like we're gonna do a same slip. Oh, la la. Okay, deep stretch. Okay, come on back, come on back. Okay. Lean back, stretch a little bit. Open up the hips before we do anything else, okay? So next time we come forward, I'm gonna hold on to the swing. So slide down to the swing, bend the knee. Make sure you're balanced in the center. And now we can come into another lunge. There you go. See if you can use your hands to push against the outer edges of the swing and balance straight in the ground. So outside it. Outside? Yeah. Okay. You're like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you do this. You have to stabilize on your hip, right? <laughs> yeah, just lean into it. Everybody can just trust a little bit. There it is. That's oh, it. Yeah, see my chest is touching too. Oh, is that right? Because I want you to. <laughs> Did it! Okay, everyone turn your left heel down. Okay, bring your right elbow to your right knee. So now you're going to reach up towards the sky, but lean back into the swing. So lean back into the swing. Oh, man. That's nice. Yeah. Cheating just right. Okay, and then reach over your head. So reach towards me. Reach your fingertips over your head towards me. Beautiful. Now, if anybody wants to go further, start to straighten the right leg. Hold on to the foot. So the swing's got you, but we're still stabilizing, right? We still have to balance. And then if anybody is really crazy, you can hold on to the foot with both hands and spin up into some bed. <laughs> really hard to do without the swing. Nice, guys. Beautiful. Come on back. So roll onto the ball of the foot on the left. Center yourself. That was really great. Big opening, right? Go ahead and come to stand. Push the swing back down to the ankle. We're going to hug the leg loops, toward, hug the swing towards us and hit it out. Now for those that want to balance, hook the foot and pull it up. So we're still working, we're just not going to have to fall over a hundred times to get the stretch. Beautiful. Keep holding on with the right hand. Open up, look back towards you. Very nice. Standing twist, second side, revolver. So hook both hands. And reach the right hand back to the knee. Ah, beautiful, guys. Okay, coming back to hold on to the swing. So now we're going to float. Now we're going to play. Okay, find your hand holds. Wrist wrap is 100% okay. If your hands are feeling tired, you guys know how to do the wrist wrap. You put it on the top of your wrist. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and then grab. Yeah, so I made the, the hand holds long enough that you can actually drop your wrist around. Okay, so we're all going to have to sync up and do this together. So we're just going to pick up our standing leg and float. Beautiful. Nice. Let yourself explore a little bit in the space. What does it feel like to add a little twist? Maybe come in. Sit. There you go. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our left leg 
and we're going to kick it into the swing. Right leg is going to hang. Beautiful, guys. Doing great. Now, if we wanted to try and prepare to do a flip, we're going to take that leg, that right leg, we're going to kick it up towards the sky. Just try it. Don't go all the way over. Just kick it up towards the sky. And then come on back down. Both feet in the swing. And yeah, that's why the wrist wrap comes in handy. Bend the knees. Come to sit on the feet for a second. Just sit up from side to side. Okay. All right. So keep the right foot in the swing. Press away. Kick up towards the sky and see if you can balance. Shovel back down yet. We're not going to go too far. Just see if you can find that lift. And come on back down. Really nice. Beautiful. Just stand. wind up with the left leg in the swing. Hook at the ankle. Come on down, second side. Woo! You guys are such superstars. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Can you keep your balance for a second? <laughs> Little birdies flying. Okay, oh, really nice. So instead of using the handholds, let's give them a break. We can also do the back stretches holding onto the top of the leg weights. I call this the nub, <laughs> the place where the, where the fabric and the webbing meet. Okay, now notice when you come back, you can bend the standing leg and go even deeper into the back stretch. Should feel really good. Tiny little wiggles back and forth, bow in towards that straight leg. So toes pointing towards me. Mm -hmm. Good. Inhale, pull yourself back up. You're great. Lean forward. Lean to the bicep curl if you can. Yeah, engage with the upper body. Beautiful. And then roll and lean back. Stretch it out. Drop it. Really nice, guys. Okay, bicep curl, come on up. Come to neutral. Bend the standing, bend the left knee. Come on into a forward lunge by pushing your hips forward. So see if you can kind of wiggle in, get support, stabilize. Yes. Beautiful. Roll, so hold on to the swing. Roll the right foot down. Left elbow finds left knee. Press your back into the swing and then lift your arm up towards the sky. Notice that you can open the heart even more that way into the side lunge. Beautiful. Now the arm can come up overhead. That right arm and right finger are pointing towards me. And then extend the left leg if you're ready. Hold on to the foot. One hand or both hands. Open it up for some guy. Only if you're crazy. You get no extra gold stars. Just for fun. Okay, reach up and grab for the swing. Beautiful, guys. Rotate towards me. <sighs> okay, so we're going to push the leg, the swing back down to the ankle, okay, so this is a great stretch in itself, right, so push the swing away and notice the difference, the traction in the Achilles, and now pull in, so wrap around, hug the swing towards you, pull in, if you can, hold onto the foot and pull straight up, Ooh. really deep stretch. Okay, keep holding on with the left. The right hand opens up to the side, balance. Look back towards your right fingertips if you can. All right, come on forward, wrap around. Cross the hands, switch sides, revolver. Balance, you've got it. Open it up, open the heart. Beautiful. Those ones are super hard, at least we're not falling over 100 times, right? Okay, bend it in for pigeon. One more pose. Okay, so for pigeon, I like to revisit the handholds. If the hands are okay, but just shake them out. It's like rock climbing. Okay? Smart. <laughs> so bend the standing leg and flirt. If you want to be lazy about it, you can do a night dream machine. Just wrap that right foot up with the left. <sighs> Stretch the shoulders. Whatever variation, play a little bit in the space. You can also sit cross-legged here. Get a really big, <laughs> nice, get a really big hip stretch. It's like my gomakasana fell over. <laughs> All right, both legs in the swing. Let's switch sides. Land it with the left. Right foot 
um, this is the last line, you guys are like, is this ever going to end? I know your hands will get nice and strong from doing this. Last line, you guys are doing great. Nice deep breaths. If you don't want to go as far and your hands are bothering you, hold on to the leg loops and then just bend straight down. Don't go too far, because <laughs> that's a big stretch in the hip. Okay? So that's one variation. If you feel like floating, try the wrist wrap. Okay? Go ahead and pick up the left knee. Here you go. Return to the lotus. I dream a genie. This. Right? If we don't do the genie, we can float and use our core. Right? So if you want the core strengthening, don't, don't just relax into it, but stay engaged. Or you can toss one over the other. So good. You guys are doing great. Okay, come on back in from the set. Oh, oh yay! Look the swing! <laughs> we hardly ever actually sit in the swing. All right, let's just take a couple breaths. Good job, guys. I'm clapping so I can stretch my hands out. <laughs> Good job. All right. I'm going to show you how to take a little break. We're not done yet, but before we get into the X Factor, which is so super new, um, you can actually spread the swing out and get into it. So keep it tucked under your bum, spread it out to your knees, and then let the back come up so you have enough for your head. Let's see if you can do that with knees and grace. Knees <laughs> and carrots. Okay. Yeah. So you make sure you have enough for it to slide down to your knees, and then you make sure. So you have to have enough for your head. So get a little bit more on the upper end of it. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. Now you get to sit back, just let your arms stretch over the head and then dangle the fingertips towards the floor. Let's try a deep burrito. So you're gonna pull your legs up, let the heels hook, and just drain any tension that might possibly be left in the hamstrings. And then, Tiny little micro movements I like to do here is just shifting my hips from side to side. So I push one hip down, and then I push the other hip down. And we're just going to alternate five deep, luxurious breaths to reset after the playtime. And if you feel like you're ready for more relaxation while we're doing some of the other poses, I welcome you to come into the big room at any time at any point. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Let your belly sink back down into your floor. Just feel what it's like to take on to the shape of the swing and be fully held and supported. This is like the prize at the bottom of the Cappy Jack box. You can make them like what? You made the coolest thing to just hang out. So this is the most important pose we possibly do is the receptivity and the absorption of all the goodness the swing has to offer. The cocoon. You guys are awesome. So when we're ready, we're just gonna inhale our legs up towards the sky, exhale so to kick them back down, bend the knees, just dangle if it's a pain. So we're going to buddy up for this one, so in case anybody needs, you should hold on to the sides of the swing to come up to sit. If anybody needs help coming into X Factor, we have lots of friends to help you, okay? I'm going to turn around and face the other way so you can see me, but then I'm going to face you again. Okay, so stay where you are. You guys are good. So we're going to sit in the swing, so you can just hang out where you are for the demo. So just make sure to sit in the swing for support. And then we're going to put the leg loops over our head and underneath the arms like we're putting on a t-shirt. So the X Factor is a complicated sequence, but it's totally worth it, particularly for neck and shoulder problems. So both leg loops over the shoulders. And don't even ask how I came up with all this stuff. Lots and lots of free time. <laughs> okay, so here's the X, right? So once we get the swing into place, we're gonna take our elbows and thread it on the inside of the outer leg loop to get it on the shoulder. Right? So it's going to squeeze the traps. But we pull them apart so it's not hitting the C7 joint. It's right in the sweet spot. From there, we're going to push the swing back down to our knees, push our hips towards the sky, and lean back. Ah. So good. Okay? So you guys are going to stay facing this direction. You're just going to come on up, 
to stand and then get the swing underneath you. Okay? So my my assistants, my bunnies, I want you to just make sure that you're right there taking a look at people, making sure the light loops um, go on correctly and everything goes well. So let's just take one leg loop at a time, doesn't matter which one. You put it over your head and underneath your arms. Other way. Behind your back. Not in front of your chest. Yeah. So this is why we take the time to get into it. Yes. So after you do one, make sure the leg loops aren't tangled. Do the other one. So over the head and behind the back. So when we lean back, you'll, you'll know you're in the right place because you'll have an X in front of you. Yes. And then the outer leg loop. Take our elbow, lean back, and then you thread it through that spot right here. And then you rotate these on top of the shoulders. Yeah. If you need to, you can pull them apart a little bit. Yes. Beautiful. Walk your feet forward so you don't have to walk your feet forward so you're not on a big swing. Push the swing back down to the knees. Okay? And then push your hips towards the sky, arms go over the head. Beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So good. Thanks. I don't need a massage I know, right? <laughs> so go ahead and just fish tail a little bit from side to side. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, the more you push your hips up towards the sky and lean back, the deeper the stretch, so you get to decide how far you want to go. Okay, great. So you're going to leave everything as is. Just start to bring more weight into your feet. Let the swing slide up to the bottom of your bum. Yes. Your feet are going to touch down. Keep pushing your hips towards the sky. Beautiful. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, good job. Now reach back to the swing. See if you can pull it above your bum. <laughs> above the bum. In the lower back? Yeah, mm -hmm. on the lower back. Pull the swing up. I know it's complicated. <laughs> and then you're going to push the swing away to kick your legs up and around. Wrap your legs. Yes, wide. And let the feet be relaxed. Feet together, oh. relax. <laughs> now clasp your hands behind your head and do a little sit up. Tuck your chin into your chest and look at your navel. Stretch the other way. Oh. If you feel comfortable, do a little shimmy from side to side again. Um, and it'll open it up. It'll massage that space in between the rhomboids if you get it just right. So amazing. Everybody good? You guys look amazing. I know it's complicated, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do our first inversion. Very exciting. First thing we're going to do is straighten our legs. Keep your feet hooked around the swing. Straighten the legs. Great. Reach up and grab for the outer edge of the leg loop. Pull yourself straight up and down. Arch. Pull yourself straight up and down. Leg loop. You got it right. The other one. This one? The leg loop. Yeah. Yeah. Pull yourself straight up and down. Yes. Nice. And now bring your hands down to the ground. Ooh la la. So deep. So intense. You guys are doing so great. Okay, so if you turn your head from side to side very gently, I'm gonna stretch out the scalenes. Awesome. <laughs> you can shrug your shoulders around a little bit. That's crazy. <laughs> Everybody feel amazing? So intense, I know. are superstars and that everybody can get into the X Factor the first time. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're just going to sink our hips down towards the earth. Sink down. Yep. And you're ready. Nice and slow. Bring the bottoms of the feet together again. Cross the hands behind your head. And just tuck in. Okay. Bank a little from side to side. That's your groove. Stay a little bit in the space. See what it's like to push one knee away as you twist. If you want to try it, just play. 
every movement you make is going to change the stretch that you get in the shoulder. I love my job. Okay, come on back to center. We're going to reach forward and hold on to the swing. So it's going to be in that space between the inner thigh and the calf. Just hold on to the swing. Bring your legs back around wide and come to sit. So when you come to sit, just pause for a moment. So good. A little supported back, back bend. From side to side. Okay, so we're going to try. Let's see how it goes. Now, if all goes well, we're going to keep the lips on our shoulders. Okay, our head's going to go through here, and then we're going to line up in a line straddle for we pull. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so you have to thread yourself through, pull yourself up, get your head through there, and then you want to go here. It may or may not happen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good job, guys. Okay. So with the X in the leg loops, we have a lot of play from side to side. You want to just X them and then put them on your shoulders. You can um, X them. That you want to toss it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do it. Yes. There you go. That was it. That's it. Yeah. It's totally different because it pulls the energy towards center. Yeah. And then you get the awesome. Here you go, Catherine. <laughs> See, your arms can go through. One more. Yes. Yeah. 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 I was like, I was like close enough. We were <laughs> That's At least you guys are doing the same thing. Yes. Okay. And now see if you can spin all the way out. Spin all the way out to the side. We'll spin out to the to the right. And then come back through center, spin out to the left. So keep your feet grounded, and then you'll get a nice big stretch through the outer shin. Yes. <laughs> Spin through center. Let's go out to the right again. Nice. And then we're going to come through center one more time to the left. <laughs> I'm trying to say the same direction instead of backwards. Doing pretty good. Okay, come to center. Let's do one more airplane wing, peppermint patty. Come into your toes. Get the sensation. Big hip stretch. Slide into the elbow creases. Slide into the elbow creases. We're going to come out nice and slow. Forward fold. Isn't that amazing? Oh, so good. So good. Oh. Slide it to the elbow creases, then straighten your arms. <laughs> Coming to the wrist wrap. Slide it to the wrist wrap if you can straighten your arms. You guys are doing great. Bend one knee and then the other knee. Just undulate from side to side, nice and slow. So it's totally different with their hands, like reaching towards the sky, even though it might be a pose we're familiar with. Just look at that upliftment. Really nice vajra. Raspberries if you need to. Beautiful, guys. Okay, release the leg loops nice and slow. Let gravity have its way with you. Just feel the difference. That pull towards the center of your belonging back into the earth is so strong. Roll up nice and slow. One more way at a time. Woo! Crazy. Is this different, this whole reality right here? Yes. Like what? <laughs> so it's also sometimes nice to come out of the swing feel how powerful it is, right? So you are you're getting your chiropractic, your acupuncture, your massage, your yoga all in one. So you'll need lots of water, lots of rest, hot tubs, whatever it is that your body's calling for. Here we go. All right. We still have plenty of time, so don't go too far. Just get a little sip of water, a little intermission, and then we'll come back into it.